Hi Zags, happy Friday. Hope you are all having a wonderful day and getting ready for a weekend. Um, today we are going to, like I said, go over our problem from yesterday with the CGI and then launch a new problem that you can complete today that we'll go over on Monday. Alrighty, so yesterday's problem, I'm going to read it to you right now. It was, Angel received a basket of Easter eggs to give out to his friends. In the first week of April, he gave out 133 eggs. The next week, he gave out 348 eggs. Now, he has 115 eggs left to give out. How many eggs did Angel start with? Okay, so we said the very first week I drew representation on here, you know with CGI, if it, yours does not look exactly like mine, that is totally okay. There are so many creative and efficient ways to solve the problem. I'm going to show you how I thought through it. In case you might need to adjust your answer, you can think about it like how I did and get it there. Okay, so I kind of just labeled. I said week one. I knew in week one, he gave out 133 eggs. Week two, our problem said he gave out 348 eggs. Now, left over, he still has 115. I want to know how many he started with. Before he handed any out, how many did he begin with? So do you think our answer is going to be a large number or a small number? It's going to be pretty large, right? Because I wonder at the very beginning, before he passed these out, before he passed these out, and even though now he has these left over, how many did he begin with? So the operation I'm going to choose to use is adding. And for me personally, I like adding just two numbers at a time. I don't like adding all three at once. It gets my brain a little bit confused. But you can do that either way. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to take 133, my week one, plus week two, 348, and figure out how many did Angel already give out. So 133 plus 348. Now, I know 8 and 3 makes 11. I drop the 1, carry my group of 10. 3 and 4 makes 7, plus 1 is 8, so we have 8 tens. 3 and 1 makes 4. So I know Angel already gave out 481 eggs. Now, he still has 115 left over. I need to add that in to figure out what he started with at the very beginning, how many eggs were delivered to him in that basket. So I'm going to add 115. 5 and 1 make 6, 8 and 1 make 9, 4 and 1 make 5. So Angel started with 596 eggs. Okay, you might not have used this strategy. You might not have broken it up piece by piece. But if, it, if your strategy worked for you, awesome job. We could, again, could have added them all up at once, done different combinations. But for me, this made the most sense to think about how many did he already give out, how many are left, then I got to how many he started with. Alrighty. And again, my number sentence could be adding all of these up, or I could put it in parentheses, right? I could say I did 133 plus 348, and then plus my 115 to get my answer, because I did these two numbers first. Okay? Wonderful. Now, it is time to launch our problem for today, so listen up closely. I will read it two times. Abby is in this problem. Okay, so Abby's helping her mother make a chocolate cake. Abby's mother told her to put eight half cups of chocolate cake mix into the bowl. How much cake mix is in the bowl? Listen one more time. Abby is helping her mother make a chocolate cake. Abby's mother told her to put eight half cups in the, um, of cake mix in the bowl. How much cake mix is in the bowl? Here's my question for you, Bright Stars. Is there more or less than eight cups of chocolate cake mix in the bowl right now? Is there more or less than eight cups of chocolate cake mix in the bowl right now? Show me. Less. Why would it be less? Go ahead and write one sentence in your notebook of why would it be less than eight cups in the bowl right now? Go ahead. You can always pause the video if you need to. I'm going to give you five more seconds. So there's going to be less because there's only eight half cups that were added to the mixing bowl. Not eight full cups. There's eight half cups. Okay? So a half of a cup of cake mix added in eight of them. Okay? So it's going to be less than eight cups. Alrighty? Cool. So that is your problem for today. Good luck. If you have any questions, always have your parents um, 
shoot me a text. That totally works. But otherwise, we will go over it Monday. Good luck.